Hey guys, it's Just the Crafter coming to you with a massive Dollar Tree haul. Like when I mean massive, I mean massive because it's one big bag. And then this one right here, that one right there, that one, yeah, right there. Um, they're full to the top, like literally to the top, both of them. So I want to get started as fast as I can. Uh, I so I can you know be finished fast as I can um you might want to get something like to munch on while you watch this so if you sign a drink just a heads up uh <laughs> it's gonna be a long one and I should have grabbed myself something too but when my daughter gets back into the house from walking the dog or ask her to grab me it um it's no big deal okay so a lot of it is Valentine's Day a lot of it is Valentine's Day um, and new finds and, and stuff like that. So, um, yeah. Everybody knows I'm not that much of a big fan of Valentine's Day. But when it comes to my kids and, you know, my husband and family, I like to do things like that, cute and stuff like that, to show appreciation and to show that you love them even on even, even though it's just the one day and you're supposed to show them every day, I like to go a lot on those days and show up. So, yeah. Anyways. Um let's move on um this is a three-day haul this is a three-day haul this is from thursday friday no wednesday thursday friday wednesday thursday friday um these three hauls so it's a lot <laughs> so bear with me and they're all mixed into one bag in or into two bags actually so i don't know and I can't remember what I bought on what days, but I know I have them there. And it's from three days of, you know, buying stuff. And uh, so I'm going to show you the haul now. Okay. So I finally found the napkin. I only found one, though. And usually I like to have the double of them. But I only found one um, of these little uh, kitchen towels. It says heavyweight, home collections, 18, uh, 15 inches by 25 inches. Um, hundred percent polyester and I, this is the little theme I got going on for this year. So I grabbed these Then I also grabbed if I'm not mistaken on the other haul the um, Not the mitt but the uh, pot holder the, the hot pots little things so I grabbed I, I know I have it from that same theme then they had these prong pencils. Now I've seen the markers, I've seen the, the 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 paint from this brand. And when I saw this in its colored pencils and celebrating over a hundred years of excellence, and then it has different colors inside, and they're 3.3 millimeters in size of the pencil, which is a thick and great size pencil. Um, they bring 36, like I said. They also include metallic gold and silver. So, yeah. I had to grab them. And I only grabbed one. I grabbed four packs. Yeah. Um, 36 bright blendable colors. It tells you which colors it includes. It is a Dixon, um, run by a Dixon company. Kins and Need Foundation, so everything that you, whoever pays for these or, you know, gets one of these, that's what it goes to. Um, they also have a clip and save. Yeah, you clip and save the back of the box. And you can go on their website and you can use the coupon. They're called Prang PowerPoint Coupons. Not bad. And these are manufactured in Florida since 19, since 1795. So, yes, I grabbed those. I thought that was cool. It shows you how to blend them and it shows you how to, how they look when you use them a certain way. Like if you use a straight line, if you use curved, if you use angular or jagged, it shows you every way how it will look. So I grabbed those. 
I also grabbed these. Um, I don't know why I grabbed these, but I thought this was cool. I thought they were cute. Um, these are Silly Scented Sweet Washable Markers. Um, they bring 10 markers and they're all scented. It says in Introducing Peach. So I guess they didn't have that, that one before. So now they do. And this is how the box look. I got three of those. I think I got four. I'm not, I thought I grabbed four, but I guess it was just three. Maybe it's in the bag or in another bag, but yeah. So I grabbed these. You have strawberry watermelon, strawberry watermelon, cotton candy, pineapple, mint, fresh air. I don't know why they have fresh air. Blueberry, peach, marshmallow, and root beer. Of course, the brown one would be root beer. But, um, yeah. So, I thought that was cool. So, I grabbed those. Then, um, I also grabbed these cups. I grabbed these, um, with lid and sle sleeve paper cups. Um, 16 ounces. There are five sets, so I grabbed this style. Do you mind grabbing me a soda downstairs, the can? Thank you. Then I also grabbed one of these with the flower, uh, with the hearts. This one has hearts in um, pink and um, gold and like a little like fuchsia color. And then this like, this one has like, a see-through one, a X and O's, and then like a, a, a scribble one. So I thought that was cool. So I got these two packs. There were the only two packs left. Honestly, I'm kind of upset because a lot of the, of the stores that I've been going to don't have anything. And um, I'm not really finding a lot of the items that I want to have. But I, I, I'm grateful for what I am finding. So and that being said. Um, I found these makeup removal, um, pads and they're shaped like a heart. So I will not be giving it in a double pack. I will probably be taking them out, doing like a little care kit and then putting them into another bag. Um, I, obviously I always wear gloves when I do things like that because I don't want to touch something from someone and then they have to use it on their face. But Obviously, you would think that people will wash it or clean it before they use it. So, um, when, especially when it comes to anything that goes to your face or um, any type of product like that. So, yeah. Um, then I found uh, these for my daughter for her little makeup collection. Um, I know I have three of them. So, bear with me because I'm looking for the third one. Okay, so yeah, I'm not finding it here. And I don't want to break anything that's here, so I'll show it to you guys when I find it. But they had this um this one's a blush a blush brush and this one is they all say blush brushes, but they're not all for blush. So I grabbed them because I thought they were cute because they have the sprinkles in the inside. So I grabbed these for her. Then to add to my fairy collection, and if you saw my last haul, you know they're coming up with so many cute little items and cute little villages and things like that. And I honestly, I couldn't help myself. And oh, here's the other one. There's the other one. Uh, I couldn't help myself, so I had to get it. Everyone knows I have this issue with these, um, with the Fairyland, and I had to get it. Like, I just, I could not just not get it, so I did. And uh, I'm guessing these are only the ones I got, so I got three more to add to my little village, and um, I can't include the picture. Um, at the end of this because I don't really know how to do that through my, my tablet yet um, I will be getting um, soon maybe a laptop or a computer Hopefully I can be able to do that 
or a tripod so I could be able to, you know, do all of that and then put it into my computer and stuff like that. But um, hopefully, hopefully, wish for thinking of by this year, I'll probably get that. Hopefully, hopefully I'm praying. Um, so I can be able to edit more and add more and then put stuff like little clips and little photos instead of having to do a whole little video and then putting it up shortly after that. So I got this one that looks like a little teapot with a ladybug on it and it was the only one that was decent because there was the the spout was broken on some or the handle was broken or this little piece right here was chipped off or the ladybug wasn't colored properly like they you know you got to be real mindful of how they look but this one was the only one that looked perfect so i grabbed this one then i also grabbed this i i don't know if these are tulips but they only say far a fairy garden forest figure green and i thought this was cute like guys look at this it's giving me old school um farmhouse you know vibes on it but with just a flower version so yeah i thought that was cool i grabbed though i grabbed that one and then i grabbed this other one there's a mushroom house with flowers on top. I just loved it. And I know it's a mushroom house because in the corner there's a mushroom right there. So, yeah. So, I grab those. And then give me one second. So then I finally found the, um, the, um, the Valentine's Day, I'm sorry, the Valentine's Day, um, glass jars, the, mason, the little glass mason jars. And I just wanted to show you in a ruler with the ruler for once in my life, how to measure it. Like this is how it is. It is close to five inches tall, okay? So as you can see, it's close to five inches tall, okay? So it's like four and a half inches tall or whatever. So I don't think that's bad for $1.25. I'm, again, upset. I didn't grab more. I only grabbed two of these, okay? Because I could have changed the colors. I could have done other things with them. And I wanted them for... um for my room to decorate my room with to put stuff inside cosmetic things things like that so i wanted for that so i grabbed two unfortunately i didn't grab more and i should have and i wasn't thinking about it and now they're nowhere to be found in my area and there was a lot when i got these and now there's not even a single one anywhere um i'm in a mission to look for these or if anyone knows or has them in their location please Comment below and let me know because I will pay for them. I will. I I, I really do want them. Um, not only for myself, but my mother is also looking for some. So please let me know. Um, and online, if you, you buy them, um, they're 24. So you have to buy a whole case. And I only want like maybe four or six of them. So I'm not going to pay for a whole case of 24. Pay $24. Well, I'm going to pay more than $24 because they're $1.25 each now. So add that on. So now. Um, well, with that being said, I also grabbed the mailbox. Okay, the mailbox. Unfortunately, this was the only big one left that was not broken with the handle. But my whole issue is it doesn't stay closed like it should be. It does not stay closed like it should. It's It opens up on its own and it pops open and stuff, see? So I have to close it back up. But I do like that this is not broken. It is very hard to move. So I got to be very gentle with it. Um, to moving it like this myself. So I have to go towards the bottom so it won't break. Because they are fragile. They are made out of cardboard. And they are like that. And this is um let's see this one is this 
This is seven inches, seven inches long. So yeah, see, I'm gonna do it this way. From here to here, seven inches, give or take. So yeah, see, seven inches. And some extra little things there. But I don't, I don't know how to count that, so I'm not gonna count that. I'm just gonna tell you seven inches, give or take. So yeah, so I grabbed those. And then I found these Mr. Mrs. Myers Clean Day scented wood bead diffuser with essential oils up to 45 days of scent. Um, it's a 0 0.49 ounce. Um, <clears throat> basically, it says we make effective trusted formulas i know you have seen this brand before i have um and it says made with essential oil oils repurposed wood which is good made without propylites artificial colors good so it tells you where you could put it you can put it in the bathroom the closet the kitchen the bedroom or a home office it says a decorative Fragrant diffuser that are, that's adjustable to easy easy to use. The wood beads, the wooden beads release an also lovely scent. After a shake to refresh, slide outer sleeve upward to separate completely from the diffuser. Remove the fabric pouch from the protective wrap and put the pouch back into the diffuser. Just twist and release the scent. Oh, okay. While twisting the outer sleeve to adjust the intensity of the fragrance. Cruelty free from um, formula from animals. Garden inspired scents. Recyclable outer package. So everything is made out of like basically reusable items. So this is cool. I thought this was cool for my living room because I have a turtle. And there's a lot of smell sometimes when we can't always get to his tank every week. So, yeah. I figured that would be great because it lasts us 45 days. I've only seen the one lately. I've been just catching the ones on everything. So, it's a little sad and nerve-wracking. Um, I'm going to put this over here because I'm going to want it on visual. Then um, I want to re-dye my hair, so I want to just touch it up with a little bit of more blue. I have my darker blue, but I wanted to make it a different type of blue again. So um, I have the dark blue, and I'm going to actually mix it with the semi-permanent from um, from uh, Dollar Tree from B, B Color. Um, it's a teal, which is turquoise in other words. It's one tube. It's 1.70 uh, uh, fluid ounces. So um, it says, from bleach light blonde hair or highlighted color, it lasts up to 10 to 15 washes. So my hair is not bleached anymore. It's not um, blonde at all either. But because I did bleach the end and it's not a dark pigment and it hasn't, you know, gone. I haven't changed it back to its natural colors. The only thing I haven't touched is my roots. Um... That's why I'm going to mix this with the blue that I have so that way it can give it a more intense color to it because the blue I have is like a sky blue or a navy blue. So I'll add this. It should make it a different type of blue. It'll, that lighter color with the dark color always gives it a um, boom and it factor. So that's why I got that. Um, then I also found these... Um, there are three packs, uh, separately and in three individually separate packs of cotton candy, Valentine's cotton candy party pack. Now you can leave them in this big one pack like this if you want to give it to somebody. But because I have three children and I have two boys and a girl, I will be using these separately because I can open the packaging because since they're separately packaged and put them into their little, um, Valentine's Day gifts and stuff like that. So 
It says three packs. The blue one is blue raspberry, cotton candy, and then watermelon. Those are the flavors. Blueberry, blue raspberry, sorry, blue raspberry, cotton candy, and watermelon. Those are the three flavors that they have. So I grabbed two packs of those because I also have a niece. So the pink ones will be going to the girls and the green and blue will go to the boys. And um, yeah, I was going to do two for each, but I also have a godson. So I will be um, sending out something small for him too, like that with a care package. Then I also found these, um, um, and I said I was looking for them, these palettes. These are called Fresh Palettes. This, I think, is a Drew Barrymore collection, or if I'm not mistaken, this is a Target brand um, cosmetic. Um, no, actually, it's a Revlon, and it's made in Italy. So these are imported, um, and they're supposed to be very high quality, rich and royal, shimmering um, colors. So yeah, so I grabbed them. I grabbed four. And the location I was at, they have more, and I should have grabbed more because these would be great for gifts, um, great for a little holiday stuff like that. Um, but I only grabbed four, uh, made in Italy. Um, it is a product from Revlon since 2018. So, yeah, these are called Flesh. These are the Sapphire, no, Starshine color. These are, that's the palette. These are eyeshadows. And they're 0 0.7 ounces. Um, they're uh, fl flesh color starshine eyeshadows. So I grabbed four of them. And I have one already open for you guys to see um, how it is. I would have wished this was out for um, Christmas. See, it would have been great for Christmas gifts. Um, it says, Hype Flash, Hype Flash, Cherish, Astonish, Throb, urge strike strap button and then thirsty those are the colors they have it says do your eyes light up they will now they these rich royal shimmering shades give you a glam to your eyes so this is the packaging it is a blue and it does have like a shimmer, glitter a look to it, but the glitter doesn't come off of it. And this is how the palette looks, okay? Because I was astonished when I saw it for the quality of it. Guys, those are the colors. If you're not into dark colors, it's, it's okay. But I thought this was so gorgeous. I had to. I just had to. So I grabbed those. Um... My daughter is into the darker colors for, you know, she just likes darker colors. So I grabbed these and I, I, I thought these were cool. So I grabbed three to put away and then I'll probably give her one as well as a gift. I'm not too sure yet. Um, then I also found these makeup blender sponges. Okay. They're shaped like a heart. It's a three pack. And they're little cupcakes. They're little cupcake holders. So I grabbed these. I grabbed a few of them, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I grabbed two of each pack. I'm not sure if I'm going to put them in the pack together like that. Or take them out and put um, one of each. Like one color each. And do like a set with the spon makeup sponges. Um, because I also then found the makeup sponges. In the darker pink so I can always just do that I can do um, one makeup sponge remover with two sp uh, two um, makeup sponges like of each color so I'll take one of each like let's say if I take one of this one one of that one and then take one of these and package them in a nice little Valentine's Day packaging because I do have Valentine's Day bag packaging from last year wrap them in a little bow and then put them in a little bag and give it to them like that and that's their little care package or i can always if i had more of these i could have stuck a makeup a sponge in here i'll make uh, and then the 
the makeup sponge remover in here and then some little other cosmetics and candies in there and that will be it that will be you know i'm giving ideas you know let's just do like that but i also did find the um the tin cans and these are with the gnomes it says to gnome you is to love you so i grabbed these i think i grabbed two big ones because they had the big this the medium and the small so i grabbed two of the big ones because i don't like really the small ones you really can't put too much in them um so i grabbed these i still have some from last year which my bin is out already i definitely already de decorated my table um I will be posting a video up of that later on of my little table. But yes, this is, which was my village is going to go into my little gnomes. But I grab these because I use these as gifts, but I also use them to put away the decorations like the, the loose flowers, the little teddy bears that I have, um, the roses, um, the fortune cookies that I have for also for Valentine's Day that I, bought, I buy every year. Um, yeah, things like that. <clears throat> Then I saw that they had the gummy bags, the her the herb balls, golden um the gold bears. These are just strawberry, I think. Oh, raspberry and pineapple is the only two in here, and those are my favorite. I got only two ba three bags of them. I should have got a few more of them. <clears throat> I'll probably go to go to the candy section today since it is Saturday. I'm pretty sure shipment went out yesterday, so I'm gonna go to see what candy they have. I'm gonna grab more of these because I love these. And uh, I grabbed these to also put in with the kids' um, little baskets or the gift bags or however I'm going to choose to do it this year. And then I also grabbed these. And we've seen these in the last haul. These have the little black shaped hearts. I love those. They, they were so good. My husband loved them. Then I'm going to be sticking because I have a surprise because I do know what I'm going to put my kids stuff in for this year. Hopefully everything fits. Um, I got confetti to put inside of them. Okay. Um, then I got these hearts. Because my mom is going to do something very special for me. So I grabbed these hearts so she can use these for what she's going to do for me. And then I'm also going to reveal that to you guys and show it to you guys. Um, and then I got these. I grabbed these um, journal ink. This pen has like a little pineapple crown on it and little polka dots. It's black ink. It's a ballpoint pen. It's a 1.0 millimeter pen so i grabbed that for work um for me personally so it could be my personal pen no one touches it anyways this is my own desk and then i saw that they had highlighters but the highlighters were going dead um i don't really like the bulky highlighters and that's all they had in the office and for a dollar 25 i grabbed the pro max the, the pro marks sorry glow um glow line I grabbed the regular highlighter and then they had only one pack of the multicolor one. So they only have one of the yellow highlighter and multicolor. So I grabbed the last two that they have of these. And um, I grabbed them because it says extra long life. So yeah, so I grabbed these for work. Then I grabbed a, a cheese grater because i had everything else but a cheese grater in my in my um cabinet and to be honest it's sturdy it's well quality it does not like shake or wiggle um it is from cooking Co um, concepts from a dollar tree brand um i do have the other bigger ones and to hold and honestly i don't really like it because then i have to, to keep it over something because it calls out the hole at least with this i'm grading it over the product that i'm going to use and it's easy said and done that's it so i grabbed that then i also grabbed the crafts real mayo creamy and smooth um because i have um tuna and i have different things like that but i didn't have mayo so um, I grabbed the mail. The mail says it was good to um, 
February 27 of 2023. So I grabbed two of those. It says great source of 660 milligrams of omega-3s, which is amazing. These are eight ounce, um, eight fluid ounce um, little containers. Again, after you're done, you can always repaint the cap, take off the little um, paper on it, all the sticker, um, and reuse it for something else. Um, repurpose, guys. Recycle in your own homes because there's so many landfills being polluted. It's not even funny. Um, so, yeah, I grabbed these two. And they're small, so it, they'll be done fast instead of getting that big jig in the tube and then it just sits in the in the thing. And these, I can put them in the cabinet and they stay, they can stay out. Once you open it is when you refrigerate. It says, refrigerate after open, do not freeze. So, and it says, do not eat if it doesn't have the inner, if it doesn't have the inner, um, seal layer in it so yeah then i found these uh craft wood um animal picks i was gonna put these outside for um easter um around the little plot that i have i'm not sure yet they bring four a piece i'm not sure yet if i'm gonna do that or i will incorporate them probably in my little floral decor just stick them right in and they'll just see look like a little bunny sticking out of them i might just do that instead um but you never know i might just use them for outside i'll probably take a pack um probably a pack or two or you know a pack and a half these um because since i got three packs of four um, that's 12 of them, so I could use six outside and six inside the house, so you know, you know. Then I found this, um, new Yes to Tomato Skin, uh, Clear Skin for breakout, po uh, poor skin, like when you break out. It says de Detoxifying Charcoal Snap Max Stick. Yes to sticking to it. Sticking it to the nasties with the de detoxifying charcoal and tomato for clear skin in a flash. Natural 96% ingredients, two ounces. And this was the last one. Um, it says formulated without parben, SLS, and silicones. Directions. Twist up stick from the base. Apply mask onto damp or dry skin. Build building the building to achieve an even layer like a flash. The mass dries, works its de detoxifying magic in just five minutes. R rinse in warm water, replace the cap, and replace with the cap. So once you're done, you just put it away and use it once. One, whenever you're having a breakout, basically. If you're having a breakout and you're having a really bad breakout, you just put the mask on, you let it dry out. It basically dries out. I guess you're poor and it's great. And I know tomato, it's a great remedy for the face. I read it in something that I see with organic um, naturals, uh, minerals. So I thought that was cool. And then, I don't know if these are squished now. I don't know if these are squished now. But my oldest son loves Reese's Pieces, Buttercups, Peanut Butter Cups. And they had these snack size, heart-shaped ones. So I got two packs. And they bring four inside. So I grabbed those. And then I found a mystery um, Disney's adorable 62 collection series four again. So I have a few upstairs. I didn't get to open them. So I figured when I saw this, let me take the last one I see the, of the year because I'm not going to see it until probably the holiday times again when it comes to the toys. So um I'm going to open it now with you guys before I start the other bag because I'm done with this bag. Um, I'm going to open it so you guys can see. I'm just going to reveal it. 
Oh my God, guys. Um, it says common is white. Green, like a lime green is rare. Blue is ultra rare. And then the fuchsia color, like a purple, is special edition. So I know I have Dory and Dory is a, a rare. Um... Wait, let me see. I have Dory. So let me see what Dory is. Yeah, yeah. Dory is a a rare. So Dor I have Dory from on the uh, Finding Nemo. And I just got, because I got to see a sneak peek and I love it. It's I love this character. I got the Little Mermaid. And I got Flounder. But Flounder is common, apparently. He's just common. And I keep them put away. So, yeah, he's going to go with my little collection now um, of my little uh, reveal stuff. I have, like, a little bin that I'm going to be sticking all of them in and just keep them in there until I can display them on a nice little shelf. So, yeah, so I grabbed that. This is your little booklet. That's how you know. I will be keeping this one so I know... Um, the next ones and I can start marking off which ones I have and which ones I need and and things like that so that way when I'm done with knowing which ones I I do have and don't have I can see what I'm missing you know and I can look for those and whatever extras I have I could put them in a little goodie bag and give them out or put them out there for little kids outside in front of my house because I like to do that Yesterday, I found some of the plastic cups that I like to use. In my house, we like to minimize the how much dishes we do um, during, you know, the household. Uh, the less we use in water, the better. So, <laughs> I try to save some water for the, you know, the, the environment. So, I grabbed three packs of these. My sofa, as you can see, is so packed now. Then they had these um, infused Be Pure Eyebrow Highlighter. Um, it's a crayon illusionator. Like it, it gives you an illusion of your eyebrow being more lifted and more of an arch than it really is. Um, and it says green tea infused. So I grabbed, I think I grabbed like four of these or three. I think it was three. So I grabbed the, these. Then I grabbed the oven mitt of Home Collection, 7 inches by 13 inches. Again, it is the theme that I like. And these all get hanged up in my kitchen. I display them around the kitchen, but they don't get used. They're just for decorating reasons. My husband has the one that he could use. Um, recently, my sister-in-law was getting rid of a... Um, kitchen towel and I decided to take it because it is an X and O's and it is the same colors as the gnomes it's a light pink and a dark pink um like how I want it with a little bit of red on the lining so I said great maybe she got it from last year's collection so I can use it and it'll incorporate it with my gnomes because it got X's and O's so I did that then I got two packs of um the felt flowers and they bring four. They bring four. Now, remember, I was saying I wish they would have more than the red ones because I only found the red ones. Well, look at that. I got two packs of the with the um, fuchsia color purple because that's fuchsia is like a purple, and then the pink. So I grabbed those two because I will be using one pack to finish decorating little areas of the house that I do little details to. And then the other pack, I'll probably give the, uh, one red pack and one of the assorted pack to my mom. So she can incorporate it with what she's going to use these lovely little things with. So yes. Then I haven't seen these in a while at Dollar Tree. So I was surprised when I saw them. These are the Lysol Hyg Hygienic um, Atlantic Fresh Scent. Uh, two weeks of freshness. The Lysol Bulk um, Fresheners. So I grabbed those because they were the only ones I saw and there were three I saw the box but they were not by the box the box was empty these were found around the shelvings um they were in different locations like I found one in toys I found one in um cleaning products like uh but it was in a like somewhere else by where the 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 cleaning products for the clothing and then the other one was in the bathroom section so yeah
I gotta take my time. Drinking things. I have a really bad tooth. Then I found these um, clinks. You guys know I'm obsessed with the clinks. I, I want to start doing a lot of DIYs with the clinks with, for decorations and for like picture frames and things like that for more decor around the house. And I grabbed these two. I just fell in love with these two. I don't know why, but you know, they don't have glitter. And they're so simple and they go with my theme. So, excuse me, sorry. I was holding that in for a while. So I, I grabbed these and I just love the little mocha, you know, little mocha chocolate with the foam cup here. So yeah, and then the little balloons, like, come on now. And then this is like the color, it's like a neutral color. So it's like really, really, cool sorry i dropped something so it's, i i thought they were cool and i have other clinks and other window clinks from last year and, the, and i think i grabbed some new ones this year that i put in a previous um haul so um yeah and then i found these i know these i found yesterday these i found yesterday and um I thought these was interesting. These are collapsible storage containers. Um, perfect, perfect for organizing books, toys, clothing, and more. So I thought these were so amazing because I've been looking for something to put. Um, certain intimates, I can't put them away. They have to, or I, I have to like find a different place because they're so delicate. So I want to use these to put those in there. So I thought these were cool because since they don't take up that much space, this would be great for them. So I grabbed this, I grabbed two of these. Um, they are 11.25 inches long by 11.25 inches wide. Um, so yeah, I grabbed those two. And then these are under the bed shoe organizers. And these are 11.81 inches long by 22.83 inches wide. So I grabbed that. There was only one. There was the only one of this. And I grabbed them in gray because that was the only color they had. And then they had this dark navy blue, which doesn't go with anything of mine. I can do the grays, I can do the light colors, like the mint colors and the the baby pinks, but I'm, I can't do the dark blues and stuff like that because my Roman doesn't incorporate those colors. So yeah, so I that's why I grabbed the grays. Um, plus I have the, sh the, the, the other hanging ones that you could put, the basket hanging ones on the in the closets, they're a light gray. So these will go and blend in perfectly. And it won't mess up my little feng shui that I got going on or my OCD that I have sometimes that I have to have everything to match and blend in with each other. So yeah. And then I'm leaving the last the best the best part for last, okay? Then I found um the pit the Fisher Price uh diapers. I grabbed a few. I told my mom I was only gonna grab three packs. I grabbed five packs of them. These are these are size six. They're all size six. It says from size six from 35 pounds. Um and it brings four diapers and it tells you the lot batch, the manufacturer number. So yeah, the manufacturing of the product. Like, so these were manufactured 11, 17, 20, 22. So they're good until, well, diapers don't expire, so I don't know why they did that, but the, I guess they're letting you know when they manufactured these and when they did it. It just has one pattern for each um, diaper. Okay, so four, and I bought five, so you know, five times four, you do the math. That's 20 diapers. No, yeah, 20, I think 20 diapers. Yeah, 20 diapers. 20 diapers 
for maybe they're $1.25 each. So yeah, again, do the math. A four is five dollars, so a six six twenty-five. So I bought five packs, paid six twenty-five for twenty diapers, and I still think I didn't do bad because I the packs of diapers sometimes the little bags bring less than that. It brings like sixteen packs of diapers probably, and you're paying the same thing. So I'm getting a couple of more diapers for the same price. So just. Be mindful of that. Do the math and do make it make sense for you and, you know, calculate it and budget the money as best as you can. So I grabbed those for her. And then she does watch my niece. So those are come in handy when sometimes when they're low on diapers in the house. So that way she can put them and have them. And then I have the last items of everything, which would be where I'm going to be putting the gifts for my kids which will be in these nice little um, boxes that Dollar Tree came out with. These are actually good for anything, like if you want to use them to keep your makeup, your jewelry, whatever it is, these are great. Um, and they're magnetic. I love it because you close it and it you open it and it closes on its own. So this one says Be Mine. I love this one. And I love the inside with the little polka with the little polka dot themed hearts, and it has green. And now you can keep them like this, or like I've seen a lot of other people do, they'll change it, they'll color it, they'll DIY it, and put it a different way of how they want it. Um, and these are five inches exactly. These are five inches long and well yeah I guess long I guess let me see yeah five inches long and four in and four four inches wide so that's not bad it's not bad um i think that was cool so i grabbed the one of this one because they only have one nice one all the other ones look this so ugh i don't know why people do that i also only grabbed one of these because it was the only one i also saw and this one has the x's and o the hearts then it says happy valentine's day and it's all right inside with the X's and O. Now these would be gifts for um, in-house, meaning my mom, my sister, my brother, whatever, like that, some, like something like that, or even my kids. Um, the cups that I got with the little reusable cups um, from Dollar Tree, those would be gifts for the teachers. I will be giving two teachers from her class a gift inside there. I'll probably spice it up with some little bath bombs, put it in there, some pencils, whatever, whatever, and a little candy in there, and that's called it a day. Put it in a little bag and put it in the bag in the cup, seal it up, put a little bow, and that's it. Um, and I got three of these, and I managed to get three good ones. I got three good ones of these. Okay. And these have the little hearts with the no means in the fronts, and it says love. And that's how that looks in the front. And the inside, it's like a buffalo check stripes with little hearts. And it's fuck it, and it's no, it's not fuchsia red. It's it's actually red, like a real red. It's so freaking cute. So everything has my little theme going on with the whole decorating and with the whole um, um, when I'm going to give out the gifts for everyone for Valentine's this year. So yeah, if you didn't, haven't seen them, now you've seen them. If you haven't gotten them in your local stores, keep a lookout because they will be out. 
And if they do come out, please grab them when you can because some people are not even finding them anymore or even having the luck to getting them at the moment. So, and it's so unfortunate because people buy them in bulk and buy them in boxes and they don't give the chance for anyone else to buy them for themselves. So, so please people be mindful and keep in, uh, in mind of that for everyone else. But that is my whole complete haul. Um, it is completed. Um, and I, I'm glad I got to show you guys everything I grabbed uh, these past couple of days. If I do find other stuff today um, at my local Dollar Tree, I will keep you posted. I will show you. I will let you know. Um, with that being said, um, I hope you guys enjoy this. Um, like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram at just the crafter, which is just underscore the underscore crafter, just like that. It's J E S S underscore T H E underscore C R A F T E R on Instagram. You should see me, you should see my logo. Um, yeah, everything is on there. Uh, I will be up there soon. I know I haven't been posting much lately, but I will be posting up a lot of the stuff that I have um, gotten lately um, that is new. Um, and I will be posting my little fairy home on there as well. So keep that in mind. And if you want to see it, if you don't get to catch my YouTube channel, you can see it there. But bye, guys. Have a great Saturday. God bless and stay blessed. Bye.